Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And thank you again so much for our time together. It's going to be a great Sunday today, 7 30, 10, 12 30, 3 o'clock. We look forward to seeing you in the service as we continue to study from Acts 17, Paul's great doctrine of man, as he teaches to the intellectual elite in the city of Athens on the Areopagus. But right now, let's go back to Luke chapter 4, beginning with verse 14 for our daily devotional thought today. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and the news about him spread throughout the whole country. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, and as was his custom, he stood up and read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, and unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and you know the rest of the passage. Now, there's so much I could teach you from here. I could teach you a place. I could teach you how Jesus shows us there's a place to be born. He was born in Bethlehem. There was a place to be raised. He was raised in Nazareth, where he had been brought up, verse 16. And there was a place to die. He died in Jerusalem. But instead, I want to teach today about the habits of Jesus. Every one of us lives by a series of habits, either bad habits or good habits, but most of the time our lives are a series of routine events that we we live by habits, and successful people have just created better habits than, than unsuccessful people. The most successful man that ever lived is Jesus. And I want you to notice one of his habits. And he went into the synagogue as was his custom, as was his habit. Jesus went to the synagogue. To put it in our modern terms, Jesus went to church as a habit. On the Lord's day, Jesus was in the synagogue. Now, Paul teaches us in Hebrews chapter 10, he said, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together, as is the habit of some. Some Christians have bad habits. They deprioritize the house of God. Well, I live by grace. I don't need to go to church. Going to church is of the law. Well, you know, you can say what you like, but I'd rather be like Jesus and not some new fad doctrine that'll be gone in a few years. I want you to understand that Jesus died for the church. Jesus said, I will build my church. Jesus said, the gates of hell will not prevail against his church. Jesus was a local church person, and it was his habit to be in God's house. I want to challenge you today. If you've gotten into the bad habit of not being in church, get into the good habit today. And every week, you and your family be in God's house. We say, well, we live too far from COP. Well, find a good church near where you live and go to church every week. Make it a habit to go to church. Make it a habit to be involved. Don't be a parasitic pew sitter. Just say, this is going to be my local church. I want to join with the body and use my talents and abilities. But to step one, make it your habit to be in church like Jesus did every week. 